Alright, let's see. Maybe we can get some upgrades here. I think... I think buffing... To get more healing power from our campfire. Congratulations, hero. The new cauldrons will make life better, not just for you, but for the whole camp. To celebrate, you can write down a new recipe. Grate four potatoes and half a block of cheese, mix together with a pot of sour cream, then bake for an hour. Only fried eggs are easier and tastier than this. Oh man, if I get enough materials, I can... Plus six each, plus six percent to campfire's healing power, and I can rest before fighting a boss. That sounds sick. Or I could bring two more potions, and it buffs the healing. And I get another item slot. Send it. There's much more room here now. To express my gratitude, I'll tell you a special healing recipe. 15 lemons, 2 spoonfuls of honey, 3 garlic cloves, and 10 ears of wheat. That sounds disgusting. Throw it all in a pot of water and let it brew for a bit. Best remedy for sore joints. Don't give me that look. You'll be thanking me in 15 years or so. 15 years? What about right now? Alright, so in chapter 2, they have 1 to 2 abilities. Enemies do. Um, they gain 5% strength. Plus 3% per loop the enemy's strength grows. I can bring... I, can, I double my max cap of resources at 20 instead of 10. And my bonus resources are 40%. Ah, I should have leveled up the Smith's Forge. I don't think I have the resources to, though. Alright. Let's run it back on Act 2. I haven't even summoned the boss on Chapter 2. Usually the enemies just wipe me. Alright. We'll build the super mountain in the usual spot. Ermac, er, whatever that means. So slime's lower defense, it looks like. Oh, here we go. Already with a rare ring. Evasion, quality, and level up. I'll take that. Legendary Grimoire, Skeleton level up, Regen, Evasion, and Skeleton level again. I mean, it's just better. I think I'm slowly figuring out how to play this game effectively. Just because the number is bigger does not mean the gear is better. <laughs> Yo, we can start a super vampire mansion here. Sorry, I'm just figuring out where to put this for optimal. I think it's there. Wait. I didn't get the... I thought I got a village. I did not. Okay. Well, I have the tools to make a early vampire village. Once I get a village. I'm trying, early vampire villages make the run so much easier. 
Second ring? Skeleton level? Boom. You know the deal. How's the website going? Um, pretty good. I've kind of slowed down a little bit on working on it, but I did complete it far enough to complete the course. Um, I'll have to send it to you later what I got so far. I do have a video kind of where I got, but I'm happy. Um, it went pretty well. Basically, I have the website minus the database. Like, uh, minus the sign up for the email list database completed. Oh, second legendary ring? I mean, it's just better. Ruins. We like ruins. But we don't like too many ruins at once. Oh, level 3 legendary grimoire. Evasion of Regember Second. It's just actually a better version of what we have stats wise. Should probably get some of these placed down. So I want to put a sand dunes here. So then I can put meadows around that. And then this corner will be. Then here, oh, I kind of screwed my positioning for the treasuries. Wait, level two, double magic shield. No, oh, just because the number, it, just because the number is higher doesn't mean it's better. <laughs> Reason I ask is because your dad was looking to buy a guitar, and I told him your dad makes them. Um, that's cool. Is he looking for electric or acoustic? Acoustic? Awesome. Um, I... We'll send you some information then. Oops, that was a misclick. Yeah, I have a bunch of pictures um, that I can send you. I don't have a good enough mic to record sound clips, so you just have to play one. It kind of like reverberates your entire body, and the the like reverb that my dad can get from the wood is just insane. It sounds so good. Oh, level 5 legendary ring. Defense, regen, evasion up, skeleton level. I guess I'll replace the regen. 
add stacks of evasion. Skeleton level is up. Evasion is up. Huh. We're just rolling like same stats. Alright, we got a village. Let's go. So we want village here. We want road lantern here. Wait, why did I put the village there? Oh, it's because I thought the tile I was on was the campfire. Shit. <laughs> uh oh, it's not looking good. Alright, Super Mountain is up. Pretty early, that's good. Summon quality is up. Little less level and no evasion, but I think early on I'll take that. I want I just want some beefy boys. Skeleton level is down. I do not want. Magic shield up, defense up, regen per second up. I mean, it's just better than a common level 2. Don't really have to think too hard about it. Another mountain. Always will take the mountain. Wow, that was an early goblin village. I'm just going to oblivion that right away. Another lantern, huh? Let's just make the villages easier. And then I'll just keep trying to... I'll just keep trying to take legendary gear. Maybe I'll just re-roll like right here. I'll see why not. I just gotta be careful because I don't want to reroll too fast because then sometimes I can't pause it in time. Alright, each loop three higher quality skeletons join the hero's side and they persist. I kind of like the idea of that. Because I'm not farming here resources, I don't think. Or like, it's not a resource run, it's a... We're trying to beat the boss kind of room. Alright, second we feels it's pretty good. I guess I could put more sand dunes. This is probably the best spot. Actually, yeah, this is the best spot. And then here. The soundtrack of this game is reminding me of Crawl. I love the soundtrack of this game, first of all. Second of all, I don't know what Crawl is. You have to explain. Oh, look at my boys! You see those guys? I forgot that the skeletons can eat. Or the um, ghouls can eat and get health back. Look at them, they're right around me. <laughs> They're just quieting up. Oh yeah, and on level two, the um, the the hydras or the little worms, the snakes can 
dodge and instead of dying they just dip and come back after you pass the tile which is really annoying when you're trying to farm legendary gear okay let's see skeleton level up defense summoning quality good skeleton level I mean it's about even Skeleton level way up, evasion slightly down, higher regen per second, and attack speed up. But is it way up? It's like 0 0.3 higher. So it's technically an upgrade, and we get some attack speed and higher evasion at the sacrifice of only 1% evasion. I think that's a good trade here. It's a 16 bit party game on PS4. Basically, you try to escape a dungeon, but only one player can be human at a time. The others are spirits that can possess monsters to kill the human player. Oh, that kind of sounds fun. But if you play it split screen, <laughs> it's kind of cheating. You can screen, you can screen look. Wait, wait, wait! What's this legendary ring? When you kill the human, you become human, and it's all on one screen? Oh, I see. That's cool. Defense is equivalent. Regen is equivalent, but we get higher summon quality and a little level. Alright, so we want... Luckily we got an oblivion roll so we can just kill the bandits because on, on act 2 they can just steal your gear which is brutal. I'll throw a cemetery right here, why not? I can use some stone. Cooler's lands. Raises the chance of finding a rare item by 10%. I'll take that. That's pretty good. Another bookery. I guess I could reroll. Battlefield, I like, I like. Oh no, I spawned a blood grove. Or not a blood grove, I spawned. Blood path. They're gonna body me. Got another village though. I think our vampire village is gonna level up pretty soon. Alright, level 6 amulet, higher magic sealed, regen per second is up, and we're trading defense for a max skeleton. I like, I like. Alright, equivalent defense, max skeletons plus 1 and summon quality up, and regen. Oh, so if we trade out the left ring, it's basically... We're trading 0.27 skeleton level for summon quality. Oh, sorry for max skeletons. They put it on Steam. I might buy it there. It's pretty damn fun. Does it have um, online multiplayer then? I'll have to check it out because um, then I might be able to play it too. This is. 
We trade evasion for 0.81 skeleton level. I think I sleep. Is sadly still local made multiplayer? Could you have like a LAN party? <laughs> that would be pretty sweet. Oh, two wheat fields. Sign me up. Looking for a legendary amulet? You're hoping the Steam version would be online? Yeah, that'd be cool. Pretty good this run with the Necromancer. Kind of feels like he's the strongest class. Alright, we leveled up. Let's see. 2% chance to get a whole resource sphere. Interesting. Whenever the hero receives direct damage, each allied skeleton has a 15% chance to attack immediately. That sounds really good. Any direct damage to the hero will be evenly split between him and his skeletons. That also sounds really good. But also it could be bad, because it could just wipe all your skeletons. But you take less damage. It's definitely between these two if we're going for a boss killing run. I have to think about this. So they're each a direct damage caveat, but I mean 15% chance. Laying down one's life for sure. Yeah, I mean that's kind of what I was leaning against because, or leaning towards, because this is only a 15% chance. This is always. So let's go laying down one's life. I'm just worried that it'll wipe, like if I take a big hit, it'll just kill all my skeletons and then I'm just dead. Got hop for a work meeting, catch you later, see ya. Thanks for tuning in. So we should get a buffed village pretty soon. Looking for a legendary necklace. I mean, we lose a max skeleton, but I mean, I kind of like max skeletons. We don't need more magic shield if we have so many skeletons that they're not attacking me. No, let's see. Another village, huh? Maybe I should set up a village. Oh no, double bandits. Alright, I know where my first oblivion is going. So far this is the best we've done on Act 2. Dang, our skeletons are getting body. We're still, we're still doing okay though. We have regen per second. 
We're gonna stay and read like HP neutral. Now we just pop off. Once that first one dies. Evasion up, summon quality up. But we lose max skeletons or we lose skeleton level. And some defense. So we basically lose defense and skeleton level for summoning quality. I mean, I feel like summoning a bunch of beefy boys is pretty solid. But I'm not sure if it's worth swapping a ring. We only lose 0.27 skeleton level and 5 defense. I'm gonna try it out, see how it goes. Because better skeletons means we still take less damage, which means we don't really need defense. Did we get an oblivion? We did. Alright, ice and the bandits. I'm scared about those blood clocks, though. I made a mistake. So hopefully we roll... Another Oblivion scene. Yo, hey, how's it going? I like that emote. What is that? Glitch NRG? I think I can put down this village without getting... Nice. Oh, here's our legendary amulet. Max skeletons, perfect. Attack speed up, defense. We lose... Almost half of our... Region, but we're... I mean, we have so many villages. just woke up from what feels like a hibernation you were up all night and got home and slept forever you're about to get into some gaming yo nice nice you playing runescape all right we got a beast village now at least it comes after these blood clots maybe I can put a road lantern here to just limit the blood clots to one Oh, and we got our boys. What was that? Time shard? Dude, these blood clots are strong. Are we dead? I think we're dead. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we lived. That is scary. Skeleton level is up. Defense instead of attack speed, lower regen per second, but evasion is doubled. I think I'll go with some evasion. We're at 23%. Defense, attack speed, and evasion, but we lose. We basically trade summon quality for 4% attack speed. I'm good. I think we're dead. Oh no, we got a super village heal coming up. Alright, we just healed half of our HP. I'm pretty sure we're dead now. Damn. Oh wait, I got a resurrection. I get one resurrect. Hey. I 
I thought for sure oh we're dead again alright well <laughs> Dang, it was those blood clots that really just killed me. That's okay. Uh, that's why I brought Lich's skulls. I just was really hoping to spawn the boss. 